Hi, welcome. I'm Emily, the lead 3D artist here at CSM, and I'm going to show you how I created this animated character using CSM's tools. The first thing I want to talk about is going over the expressions that you're going to need. You're going to need different mouth expressions, ones that mimic the shapes of like different letters in the English language. Um, and I also did like happy, sad, and things like that. Character, I actually used our uh, high definition image generator um, and I just wanted to look for a landscape character sheet, one that had different facial expressions and things like that on it. So I'm demonstrating something uh, similar to what you should be able to do. Once you get the character you like, you're going to separate each facial expressions and put them in a zip file and you're going to toss them into our style text to image generator. You're going to upload your style uh, packet, which is a zip file of those images, and then now you can generate new images for different facial expressions as well. I use this to get the different shapes for each different letter, um, and then we also released a new tool, the retexturing tool, and here you can actually like generate different faces and directly paint on and bake the different mouths um, on your character and this will definitely help and make the, this process a lot easier. Another good tool is Photoshop. Sometimes you need a very specific mouth and you can just quickly alter it in Photoshop if you are like desperately needing a certain mouth shape and you physically can't get it. Um, this always comes in handy. Once I had all the expressions that I wanted, I then put them into uh, the cube and I got really good results with the heads and I also went ahead and did a body and hands for the full body as well. I want to do the body and the heads different separately in the cube because I get better results and a clearer texture. Here you can see all the different expressions and mouth shapes uh, that I got. Um, all are pretty similar, so um, that's really good to see. Next up would be to merge all the body parts together. Um, I merged together the head, the body, and the hands together. Um, this isn't necessary, but I want a more uh, defined looking character and sometimes the hands aren't as defined as they could be so I generate them separately than the head. Um, here you can see that they're overlapped on each other and then in the sculpting tool I'll merge them together and here's a good example of what I mean. I want better geometry for this merged character. Um, I like to take it into ZBrush and physically draw on the uh, line of where I want the geometry to flow. Um, this is the best way I found for myself, but you can also uh, retopologize in Blender or whatever application you're comfortable with. Um, this is what I like to use best. And here's a good example of what I mean. Once I get a model that has good topology and it doesn't lose as much as its shape. I'll take it back into Blender, and as you can see, I separated the head and the body into two different materials, and I UV'd them as well. Um, and I bake the each expression onto the head material, and I made them a separate um, texture map for each each expression. Um, and then I bake the original body texture onto this new body material. I have this new character, he's fully combined, and he has two separate materials on him, one for his body, one for his head, and his head will be where we do all the facial animations in. So here you can see the two different materials. Here we have the body material, which just has the baked body texture on it. So when I unclip it, you just see the body go white. And then going to the head material, we have all the different facial expression texture maps on here and we're going to uh, mix them 
So here I'm slowly blending each one between each expression and this will allow us to animate our character and appear like he's talking, if that makes sense. Here's a good example of what I'm talking about. I will import an audio sound of maybe a voice of like a sentence or something and I'll try to match up each sound to uh, the voice um, and mix it between each expression. My AI capabilities allow me to understand your humor. My AI capabilities allow me to understand your humor. The next thing I did, which was the last thing I did, was I ended up bringing the character real quick um, and doing very simple like talking gestures. This didn't take long, but I wanted to match up and give him more of a lively look. After animating his rig, I just simply rendered the video out. I put a simple basic background for him. I didn't want anything crazy, and you'll see exactly what I mean in a second. Welcome to CSM. Ask me anything. I'm like a walking encyclopedia, but with more jokes and less dust. My AI capabilities allow me to understand your humor. That's all from me, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope this helped you explore more of your creativity with the cube. Bye.